hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video we will discuss the topic the invisible homework Salim shook his fountain pen twice but it did not work my teacher is going to punish me she will not be ready to accept my excuse if i don't submit my homework assignment he said maybe the ink has dried out there was no water in his reach salim filled his pen with some leftover lemonade in his glass he took a sheet of paper and started doing his work nothing but faint lines showed on the paper at least this attempt was better than appearing shame faced in class some of the words were not clear salim held the paper close to the big light bulb of his desk lamp as if by magic clear blue words began to show salim moved to the paper away from the heat of the bulb slowly the words began to disappear this is super he cried just what i want salim came up with a simple plan he was going to teach his friends how to exchange secret messages in the presence of their teacher he was going to make and sell invisible ink he said to himself i am sure lots of children in the class will want some then we can send each other secret messages in school the next day salim did not have a chance to talk about his ink Miss Nadia called him to her desk there lay the last two pages of homework Salim had done the pages were full of red lines and circles Miss Nadia it seemed had not been able to read what Salim had written she made it quite clear that if Salim don't do his work more carefully he would have to do it again It was a cold day by the time school was over and Slim got home he was completely tired he thought that he would make his ink tomorrow he was worry about his homework for the next day the heater in his room was making it warm and cozy he pulled the heater close to him before starting his work this feels good he told himself He got he got his books and paper and fountain pen leaning towards the heater Salim did his homework very carefully Salim did his homework very carefully Salim looked at his paper proudly the words were very dark if miss Nadia cannot read this she needs magnifying glass Salim placed all his paper and books on his desk and rushed don't stay here to get a cup of tea for himself after little while he came back to his home salim collected his books packed his sneakers for gym the next day and was ready to put his homework and notebooks in his bag he looked around puzzled he had put his homework on the desk with his books and the package of notebook paper he knew he had but he did not see the homework he looked under the desk no homework was there maybe it was mixed up with all the stuff on his desk he moved all the papers and books from his desk to his table the homework was not on the desk then he moved the books and paper off the heater with a cry of relief he saw his homework this time slim put the homework securely into the notebook and just to make sure he would find it quickly the next day he put a paper clip on the top of the page that morning when miss nadia said salim let me see your homework please bring it there salim cited in excitement thinking of the surprise he had for miss nadia he thought that miss nadia will appreciate his work in dark print He opened his notebook the clip was there but where was his homework Salim glanced deeply at the paper 
to his horror he saw faint pink lines slim stood up he looked from his notebook to his teacher miss he began i made an awful mistake have you done your homework today slim miss nadia asked slim went near miss nadia Ma- slim went near miss nadia's desk and laid the paper on it i did my homework miss he said believe me but i guess i used a wrong pen i did it in i did it in invisible ink the whole class kept quiet suddenly slim is it a joke said his teacher 